Hello, welcome back to my second Greenfoot lesson. Uh, today we're going to learn how to make our gold buggy turn and respond to the keys we press on the keyboard. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to edit the code of the gold buggy. This is what we should have yesterday. Right now, your gold buggy should turn if it goes off the map. Uh, that's what we did in our first lesson. Right now, though, we want to change it. We want to make it turn when we press a key, and that means we need to know what key we press. Um, and so what we want to do is our we want to get something from the Greenfoot uh, module, the Greenfoot class, which will tell us where, whether the key is being pressed. You notice we imported greenfoot.star. This does everything that uh, Greenfoot allows us to do. And one of the things is it tells us what key is being pressed. I'm going to highlight off the map, and I'm going to delete it in our if statement. So instead of turning when it goes off the map, we want to turn if I press the right key. Well, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my Greenfoot class, so I need to type Greenfoot with a capital G. And then I'm going to type a dot. This means we're getting something from a green, the Greenfoot class. The Greenfoot class sort of contains a lot of methods that allow us, us to do things in the Greenfoot. Uh, in Greenfoot. And so you you should pause it, erase is off the map, and type green foot and a dot. Okay, you should be back now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control space, see all my methods that green foot allows me to do, and I want the one that says is key down. So I'm going to double click on the is key down, and you notice it says key name in here. The key name is the name of the key we want to press. Uh, it's a string. A string is a series of letters or characters, and a string is kept inside quote marks. So I'm going to do an open quote, and I'm going to type the word right. And this says that if I'm pressing the right key, I'm going to turn 10 degrees to the right. You might wonder, well, how, why is it to the right? The answer is the number of degrees is always to the right which means we're going to have to do something a little different when we get to the left. But let's try this right now. Pause it, type, uh, hit your control space, select is key down, and in your parentheses do right. And make sure you have two parentheses at the end here, just like this. Okay, so if you're back, you should have what I typed. I'm going to close it. I'm going to compile it. Remember, we have to compile to make our go buggy code work. I'm going to hold down my shift key and drop a gold buggy in here. And if it runs, when I press the right key, it should turn to the right. And there we go. It doesn't turn to the left, though, because I haven't given it that capability yet. So now we have to give it a left command. So, I'm, so you pause it, uh, uh, compile your code, see if it works, and then come back, and I'll show you how to do a left command. Okay, so I'm going to go to the gold buggy file again, right? So we want to do something that's exactly the same as what we have here. And when you want to do something that's exactly the same, the easiest way is just to copy and paste. So I'm going to highlight these four lines, and I'm going to copy them. I'm going to click copy here. Okay, and then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to start right there. I'm going to click paste. If things come out out of alignment, if that is, if this comes out off to the right or something, you can always just go to Edit and Auto Layout, and it'll line everything up neatly again. Now, there's two things I want to change in here. One, we want to make it turn. We want to make it the left key instead of the right. So you can probably guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight right, and I'm going to type left in here. And then down in the turn, it's turning 10 degrees to the right. We want to turn the exact opposite of that. And the opposite, in this case, means a negative number. So turning negative 10 degrees to the right really means turning 10 degrees to the left. So I'm going to put that in there. I want you to pause it now. I want you to copy your, uh, your, turning, your turning code here, paste it down here, change left to right, and put a negative before the 10 sign. 
Okay, so if you've done that now, um, we'll, let's see if it works. I'm going to close it. I'm going to compile it. I'm going to put my gold buggy back in. Now I'm going to run it. My gold buggy will turn to the right, and then it will turn to the left. And that's it for this lesson. Come back next time and I'll show you how to make the gold buggy get some, pick something up as it drives around.